Hello, happy new year. It is me again here for not a live stream. This is a, a real talkie talk video. I imagine that this is what I titled the video, but just in case the thing that we're going to do here today is uh, a like big picture life update while also wearing all of the things that I made for myself in 2021. I'm not gonna attempt to do this in any sort of order. This is something that I made for a wedding, but I, you know, it's a happy new year. It seemed like fun. Um, my niece got married in October, so I wore this for that. Um, it was a one day make, which was very exciting for me. I made these pants. They're extremely comfortable, but I also don't, I like, I have not worn them outside of my home. They're just for me to be comfortable in. I also didn't iron anything before I did this, which I regret, but also I'm not going to stop now to iron. This is just, we're, the, we're doing this, we're just doing this. I feel like a really fun elementary school art teacher. So the first big life update is that I moved. I'm obviously in a different, well, Obviously, I say obviously, I don't know. I've got all the starlights and the, this, a lot of the same shit that was behind me in my old apartment. Anyway, the point is that I moved. Um, in early June of 2021, I packed up my stuff um, in Missoula, Montana, and I moved back to Missouri where my parents lived. This shirt is one of the last things that I made this year. I'm pretty obsessed with it. Uh, I wasn't actually intending to make the sleeves out of this different fabric. I messed something up with the sleeves and then um, I didn't have enough of this fabric left to cut new sleeves, but I knew I had this. And you know, it's, it's, the, it's giving the like, I don't know, Pirates of the Caribbean vibes that my teenage self would have loved and appreciated. So uh, I'm glad that I can fulfill that dream. So in 2020, my mom got a, a new job in DC. Financially, it made more sense for them to just get an apartment in DC. Um, and so that <laughs> that is where they mostly live. They do come back here sometimes, um, but that their primary residence is now in DC in a one bedroom apartment. And I am the sole primary occupant of like this whole house, which is a nonsensical arrangement. I'm aware that it's an, we are all aware that it's a nonsensical arrangement. I forgot to grab the little tank top that I wear underneath this one. And she's a little scandalous on her own. Also truly unhinged with my little like uh, control top tights, pants combo. Um, listen, there I, there's an efficiency that I'm trying to achieve. The fact that I didn't iron is really a problem for this top because the, the hem really, the, ugh, it's gonna, be so annoying for me to have to look at this later. But anyway, uh, this I think is maybe the first thing that I made this year. Uh, it was very fun because I had to make these little, little cloth covered buttons and that was a blast. All I think I've said so far is that I moved. I should maybe be writing this stuff down. I moved. Also, I um, I didn't quit my job. So I have the same job and, well, not the same job because uh, Life update number two is that I got promoted um, at the end of the summer, so that's pretty fun. I work at the same place. Um, I just uh, am not going back to the office. The office did reopen. Both offices reopened, uh, but not me. This is my office. Hello. This is probably one of the things that I wear the most. Um, I actually need to rehem it somewhere around here. There's like a little dangly thing. I think there's also a little hole in the back too. Um, I wear this all the time. Honestly, like the fact that I moved is really the like the central life update. And so the rest of this is mostly just gonna be me talking about some of my many big feelings. As many of my big feelings as I can compress into the number of outfits that I have remaining. This is uh, what I imagine that I would wear at, a, at like a festival, at like a music festival. You know, the imaginary music festivals that I'm attending up here. Okay, so I wanna rewind to like late April, early May of 2021, when I was officially committing to my decision to leave when my lease was up on, I think, June 6th. The real thing at that time was basically just, I don't, ever want to go back to the office again. I think all of my big feelings are just going to be like, 
here's a big thought that I have and I'm just gonna like toss it out there and I'm not gonna elaborate because I don't have time. I made this shirt first because this fabric was way cheaper and I was a lot less precious about it. Uh, and this was basically my like template for the other one that I just wore. This is one of the last things that I made before I left Missoula. After a year and a half of uh, like feeling trapped in my one bedroom apartment that had so many fucking problems. Like I had maintenance people in my home a, a bunch during that year and a half. Uh, like uh, uh, it, it was just, I needed to get out of that apartment. Um, and I also knew that I didn't want to move somewhere else in Missoula for partially because of the fact that it was expensive, um, but also for uh, for a couple other reasons. Uh, one of which being that I knew that I didn't want to stay there like forever. And I felt like, you know, it had been almost seven years, six and a half years um, at the time that I moved. And I don't know, like, I, I feel like if I had moved, gone through the process of moving again in Missoula, it would have felt very much like I was making a more permanent decision. Um, and I understand if you're like, that sounds absurd to me and is not how I would feel about that. And that's fine. This is how I felt. <laughs> I felt like if I moved to another Missoula apartment, that was akin to saying, I am never leaving this place. So in addition to the feeling of like, I am clawing at the walls of this apartment, I need to leave this place. I, I was also like, thinking this thought of like, okay, well, if I move to some other place in Missoula, and I did look at apartments for a little bit, but like, if, if I move to one of these other apartments, then uh, that is, um, th that's me saying that this is forever. Uh, and that idea was just immediately no. This is the same pattern as the sparkly dress that I was wearing in the beginning, only I made this one first. I also wanted to leave Missoula for, for I don't know, a slightly more complicated reason that, like I said, I was just gonna throw my little one-liner versions of things that I have very big feelings about and run, but I don't even know how to distill this into like a one-liner version. I had allowed my job to become my identity. If you follow me on Twitter, you've probably heard me talk about this because I think about this all the time. I've got to this place where I felt like so much of my sense of myself was directly tied to how I felt about my job and my company. Um, and then that was the thing where I was like, oh, this is this is really gross and unhealthy. Um, like this is not, this is not good. Uh, <laughs> something something about this has to change. To be clear, I actually do think that like I've, I've gotten there. I've done this. I feel, I feel really good about that. Um, I, I do, I, I, this is no longer an actual concern that I have. Um, at this point when I'm wrestling with it in these spaces, the thing that I'm wrestling with more is because I talked so much about disentangling your sense of self from your job, now every time I talk about my job on a like personal space, I'm like, oh God, I look like such a hypocrite now. Um, I don't know. It, this is whatever. Love to have a brain. The, the thing that I want to say, the little, the quick little thought <laughs> that I have a million feelings about is that I had to leave Missoula in order to like fully divest my sense of self from my job. Like that, that was also part of why I needed to move. There are so many like reasons and things tied to that, but I can't, I don't have time. I don't have time. Okay, so having gotten through the Missoula half of this, there's a lot of Missouri feelings. I wanna start though with like, my circumstances right now are like tremendously privileged in terms of like contextualizing what things I am and I'm not able to do. Like th this matters a lot. <laughs> this guy has a really fun little, uh, I made a mistake down at the bottom. I'm not even sure what is in frame. Um, and so, the, but there's a safety pin just permanently. <laughs> uh, and I, I mean, whatever. I could put a snap, I could put something down there. I keep meaning to do that, um, but I don't. And then every time I put it on, I'm like, oh yeah, there's a little safety pin down there. So my reasons for like, coming here were fundamentally like money like that that is that is the reason that like there are other things kind of wrapped up in it but like it, it's money <laughs> I got like my move was approved I was told like yes okay you can move whatever um like the day that I had maybe it was the day before I had to give notice to my uh like a property management company or whatever that I wasn't going to be renewing my lease I've been thinking about moving for a while it was sort of like up in the air but like the moment of 
yes, the, like there is a there is some sort of a plan in place where you still have a job. So all of a sudden I just had this like one month clock like ticking down um, in which like a lot of stuff had to happen. All I could do up to that point was just sort of like think about it and like maybe I'm gonna do something, but I don't know. Okay, go. This one's exciting because I did do a sewing vlog about this one. How neat. Both in terms of just like the logistics and the money, this was just like the easiest option uh, to choose sort of right away. Um, this is sigh of trying to figure out how much of like money stuff I wanna get into here. I'm in a fuck ton of student loan debt, which has complicated my ability to like build a savings. I also have got into a ton of credit card debt in 2019 and took out a big personal loan in February of 2020 to like to deal with that. It was like a five year loan. Um, but then because I my student loan payments got mostly, not entirely, but mostly frozen, uh, I have some stuff that's private that I do actually still have to pay. But um, so like I managed to pay off my five year loan in a year and that was like incredible, amazing. This dress is obviously just the last one in a different fabric. Uh, I love this dress so much, but also um, I don't love it because it's not very comfortable, but I can stand here and talk to you a little bit while wearing it. Like this is, this is the level of commitment that I'm prepared to make in this dress. I came here for reasons of like money and convenience, expediency, all of that. Uh, thinking I was gonna like get my shit together here and make plans and then like spring 2022 I was gonna go somewhere else. The level of hope and optimism that I felt in May of 2021 about <laughs> the amount of security that I would feel at this point um, has not has not proven fair. Th that hope, that hope, that optimism it just feels like there are, there are just still too many things that I don't know. And so the idea of making concrete plans feels absurd. This dress could really have benefited from an ironing. It's like a whole wrapping situation. Um, it's very fun. I like it a lot. Before I continue with life updates, I'm gonna go grab my jacket. Here's the dress without it one more time. This is a big old winter coat that I made. Uh, I didn't finish it until April of 2021. I'd spent like three months, three or four months um, working on it, but she's fun. My like contentious relationship with this town is like deeply rooted in the teenage angst that brought me here. However, like petty and silly that sounds, like it is what it is, but that's, that is the root of a lot of it. There are also just like a lot of things like culturally, uh, just because of the conservatism of this town uh, that I, that make me like extremely uncomfortable. There were some things like when I first got back, just, just like little things around town that were striking just because it was like, oh, right, the, yep, I'm back here again. I guess the big necessary bit of context is this is a place that I never wanted to come back to. Seven years ago, as I was pulling out of the driveway to move to Missoula, I was sure um, that I was moving away for good. <laughs> this one I wear all the time because it is super freaking comfortable. It's also cute, but honestly, it's mostly because it's very comfortable. This is that same pattern as the brown and the black dress uh, with different sleeves, obviously. Um, one of the things that I didn't like about both of those dresses that I, is that I, I felt like you needed something visually like at the, at the waistline. Um, so this was my own little addition. However, um, I didn't line it up properly. I can't see it, so it actually doesn't bother me. Also, I don't really go places. So most of the time that I'm like being seen, I'm being seen like this anyway. Because I work from home, uh, I'm just like in my house all the time. Um, and I pretty much only leave to like go to the store uh, and like buy groceries and stuff. And that's like, that's it. Like that's, that is the extent to which I am engaging with the larger like town. The thing is, like I work from home, I'm here all the time. The contours of my life have changed in this way that it, the, like the geographic location of my home is no longer as significant to me as the home itself. And some of this is maybe just a little bit that like I've gotten older, that is surely true. <laughs> Given that like I am largely just in my home, um, I like this home. I both don't have like the sense of stability to be making future plans. And I also don't have the sense of urgency that I was expecting to feel at this point about like, I gotta get the heck out of here. Um, because like, I don't know, I guess related to this, but like, it, 
it's all it's all in, in, in connected. I'm like finally almost out of uh, clothing to try on. Really, truly wild to me how much stuff I have made this year. This is my other life update, I guess, is like uh, sewing. I did a lot of it. I also have this coat that I technically didn't finish until the beginning of this month. And so if I do a things I made in 2022 video, uh, you'll see it again. But I did most of the work in 2021 and I spent so many hours making this that I am gonna show it off more times if I can. There are like a million other pieces to this that I could probably talk through. Like I had a lot of feelings around the idea of just like relying on my parents for help in the first place. I was also a little bit like anxious, unsure what the dynamics were gonna be about like, you know, being an adult and living with my parents again after being like on my own for so long. Um, but that has proven to be a non-issue. The main reason is of course that this is not their primary residence. They mostly are in DC, but they do come back here. My dad is fully remote um, and my mom's office has like, they're flexible and also like the office has sometimes been open and sometimes been closed over the course of the last, um, well, even before I came back, but since I came back, they were here all summer because her office was not open. So it was just like, well, why would we be there when we could be here um, with our child who we weren't able to see for a year and a half? Um, and that also is, I think, a factor in why it has kind of been a non-issue because uh, th those dynamics have also changed. Basic summary though is that I moved and I'm currently feeling pretty good about it. I will eventually move again. I don't know when and I don't know where because gestures broadly at world and also um, it's expensive to exist. So <laughs> uh, for all of those reasons, I don't know what my plans are. I do have one more outfit. I also recorded the entire process of making this little costume. I lost the thing that I had originally used to affix this to my head. So I kind of had to improvise and um, it was not an enduring solution. Point is you saw it. I think this is all the things that I made for myself in 2021. This was an extremely chaotic way to talk about life stuff. I thought about trying to make like a video or something about all of this uh, several times over the course of the last however many months it's been since I came back. Um, but every time I thought about it, I was always like, uh, there are 17 different pieces that I would have to disentangle in order to like go there. Uh, but this way, I didn't have to. I just sort of threw the 17 pieces out there and said, do with that what you will. <laughs>